This video is brought to you by DraftBuff. DraftBuff is the best fantasy platform for worlds. You can create fantasy leagues with your friends or play against the entire community in Draft Royale contests. You can play in unique Pick'em's format for worlds group stage. The winner of each contest will receive a worlds jersey of their favorite team. Check out my Draft Royale. Links are in the description below. Now in this series, I believe you actually had your 100th playoff game. So as a veteran, are you still dealing with these nerves? Oh yeah, I'm a little old now, but uh, I mean, I think. The... Look, look at your, your mustache. Do you speak Spanish too? What are you doing, boy? You feel so damn. For Tia, Simon's going to do shows up, but only to run away. Two v two left on the map. They gotta get away from this one. Oh, he's, got the he's got the sleep. In that fight from both sides, Kabe waiting for his QSS and ultimate, but she says an ultimate. But TSM doesn't want to give this up. Cody dies! Cody taken down! Woo! Please just come dive him, man. I don't care about the blue buff. This is how I talk to every drone in Tsum. No wonder they can't play. Yeah. Possible clearing out the last two of the Krux, but Broxa has decided he doesn't care about Krux. He cares about Bjergsen. Bjergsen gets himself away. 325 minutes, and they will take us to still. So you bully me, everyone ask. Flash for Broken Blade, punch the back line, can't find that just yet. Burn stopwatch, a flash away for Turtle. The Bjergs might find him, gets the stun, gets the mark, gets one, gets two. Bjergsen assassinates the back line. Don't play slow, just fucking go. Look, look. Let's go, let's go. TP to get back after going back to face and healing up. Hunter Thieves again going to be looking to go after the but Dardock going to find a massive cataclysm trap and everybody in. And TSM will slaughter Hunter Thieves. Dardock sets them <laughs> all up and Bjergsen slams him into the ground. Shut down! Bjergsen is making the plays here for TSM. Back and forth, but now Hellfog's getting a bit low. Bjergsen wants back in. He has the ulti. Not gonna go. Now he is! Scoops in three! Look at that play! They're gonna get a whole lot done. Two kills picked up. Make it a third! Huge! Out of the TSM mid laner. And learning something new from a uh, mid laner Bjergsen. Oh. Learning a lot from you, or? Thanks, bro. I'm learning a lot from you too. And I'm really looking forward to our date today. Yeah, we're having a date so we can get to know each other better. Triple bomb, Bjergsen's chain CC. He has love it. Uh, and stacking up that gear. So up, the Nexus is there. They need to cancel these back to Aatrox. He's zipping back as fast as he possibly can go. Bjergsen is here. He's got the truck wave again. He used it, but it takes it the wrong way. But Bjergsen, oh, he's got it. Oh, that's it. Riv, TSM going to look to push to end the game here. 5v2. Jump on to Ryoma and the rest of the team. They're going to be able to take it off. Bjergsen picks up another kill. And that's someday coming up from Resurrect. The Cloud Knight support alive for a little bit longer. Thick skin is trying to walk away. Spin down to 250 HP here as well. Broken Blade's going to be a Broken Blade was kept alive by that Aegis protection. The empowered E. It does so much. Oh. There comes the Shariba shuffle. Okay, the Haunter could just turn and kill him. He's got to yeah. success. You're yeah, dead. I didn't fancy that at all. Haunter's going to get the trade kill. He's going to turn back. Four v four. Trying to find the stun. Vulcan's low. One more shot. Jumping in. Bjergsen finds.
finds a sick play, takes down one kill. So <laughs> but it will be a one for one there. Deathly, Haunter, and Froggen. Now gonna be pressuring onto the tier three into the mid lane as well. Froggen in some trouble. Critical positioning error will be heavily punished. It's fucking gangbang. Uh-oh. You're so dead, dude. Oh! Wow. He's okay. Yeah, yeah. I think he's OP. You, you. I'm OP? Yes. Secret OP? Okay. Yeah, maybe this year, 2020. Yeah. so hard. I think everyone just loves Bjergsen. There's really nothing to dislike about him. He is uh, smart, hardworking. He's like a player that is never ever been a KDA player. He's always been aggressive. He always wants to make plays and make things happen. He's someone that you would want to watch. It's just really easy to like want to cheer for this guy. And he's also my, one of my closest friends. I, I feel really you know privileged to be able to play on the same team as him again. Yeah, winning with him has just felt uh, really amazing, and I think he really deserved it. You know, he was playing at an extremely high level. I think he was playing at a world-class level multiple times in the last couple of years, but he just got sandbagged by his teammates. So, you know, like, I'm glad. <laughs> <laughs> 